Hello everyone. If you're having problems with network connections, for instance your browser's not working, or you can't print, or maybe when you try to access files on the file server, it's not going through. So maybe you're seeing screens like this when you open up your internet browser. This video will show you how to use the command prompt, which is this black box back here. Uh, will show you how to troubleshoot, isolate, and even solve network connection issues. So I'm going to show you some things using some commands inside this black box, but it has nothing to do with programming. This is aimed at the average computer user who wants to try to identify problems themselves, possibly saving the need to have to call an expensive IT person to come remedy the problem. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so let's get this command prompt open so we can learn some basic things about our computer. Uh, for Windows 7, you would hit the little start button and then you would type in CMD. What you want is this little icon right here, that little black uh, box with the letter C in it. Uh, for those of you who remember the uh, the days when we ran computers on, on the DOS operating system, this is pretty much the same thing. Anyway, if you're on XP or if you're on uh, Windows 10, just use either, like on XP, you can do start run and then type in CMD, or you on Windows 10, I think, in that little box where it says ask me anything, you can type in CMD and find it that way. So once we've got this box open, let's see what the status of our network adapter is. Let's see if we're even connected. We'll use a command called ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. That's all one word, and then hit enter. Now, right off the bat, I know I'm not going to get far because it shows media disconnected. So this could be a couple of things. If you're hardwired, meaning that you have a wire, network wire from the wall that physically plugs into the back of your computer, it means that maybe the other end of that wire has a problem, like maybe it got plugged into the wrong port, maybe it's unplugged. Uh, maybe the switch or the router in the back room where all these, well, the equipment is, is, is powered down. Uh, we're not going to get much further than this if we've got media disconnected. And now, if you're on Wi-Fi, it might mean that the Wi-Fi antenna is turned off or you become unconnected from the uh, Wi-Fi network. And that's kind of a different ball of wax outside the scope of this. Um, but if you remember how you connect your computer to the Wi-Fi, you need to repeat that process and then run the IP config uh, command again. And what you should see here is some kind of an IP address. Now, the other thing you might see uh, is something like this. I'm bringing this in from another computer. And that is where you see you have, um, you know, you run the, the IP config, and you'll get uh, an IPv4 address of 169. So what we're looking for is our IPv4 address. This is an unhealthy one. If it starts with 169.254, what that is is the Windows way of telling you that the network is physically connected, meaning that the electricity is there, the wire's connected, that part's okay, but the part of the network that gives out IP addresses is not working, or we're not, we're not making connectivity with it. So this might indicate that either the router or the server that gives out these IP addresses is not working right. So what would it look like if I had a healthy connection? Well, let's see. Um, we'll go do that next. I'll restore a healthy connection, and I'll show you what that should look like. All right, in our next example, let's say that our network connection physically is okay. And we do an IP config to see what our IP address is. We're looking for the line that says IPv4 address. See this right here? IPv4 address, dot, 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 all the way over here. I see 192.168.0.141. That's a pretty typical uh, local area network address that's automatically given out by a router or, um, or a DHCP server. And as I throw these technical terms out, you don't really need to know what these are. It just All that matters is I'm trying to help you with some simple ways of finding out about your connection. The other thing we'd want to know is what is my default gateway? This is usually the address of the device we have to go through to get out to the internet. Now see here where it says default gateway, 192.168.0.1. So what I'm going to do right now is since I know I'm connected because I've got 
a healthy address. In other words, it's not that 169254 that I showed you before, and it's not media disconnected. Uh, as I'm going to ping my gateway. So ping, ping is a command that you can use that basically sends out a test message to another device saying, are you there? Can I reach you? And so it's P-I-N-G, and then the gateway address, so 192.168.0.1. So P-I-N-G space 192.168.0.1. The My computer is sending test messages over to the gateway, which is usually a router, and I'm getting replies back. Replies are coming back from that router. It's telling me how long the, uh, the, the round trip time was in milliseconds. So that's good. I know I can reach my router. That's a good sign. So from a local area network perspective, I know that my computer is connected to the local area network and I know I can talk to the router. What you might see that would be bad would be if we were pinging something and it wasn't replying or we were getting destination unreachable. So right now I just pinged a fictitious address and I'm getting um, replies back from my own network adapter saying, you know, I, I can't reach that. I can't reach that address. If that's the case, then it means that you may still have a physical connection problem going to the router. If you're in a small office environment, a lot of times it could be just as simple as checking to see if the router is, is even powered on or rebooting it, or if you have a separate switch, rebooting that. The other type of... Uh, uh, bad res response you might get is something like reply timed out. So either way, if you get unreachable or timed out, it means that we can't, from a network perspective, reach that routing device. So let's say we did ping the router and that was cool. So the next thing I want to know is, okay, I got to my router, but can I get outside? Can I get out to the network, to the internet? So you can do that by pinging an IP address of something that's out on the internet. Most network professionals usually do something like Google's address, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 so ping space 8 period 8 period 8 period 8. And then you get replies. So that means, okay, great. I can reach, I can reach the Internet. I can reach something out on the Internet. On the other hand, if I'm getting unreachables or if I'm getting reply timed out, then that means that there's something going on. Maybe my, my Internet's down. Like even though my router's working fine, the cable company or the telephone company that supplies my Internet might be down, so it might be time for a phone call. The nice thing about what we're doing here is that when you're armed with this knowledge is you can talk intelligently. Ah, I can't talk. You can talk intelligently to the people on the other end of the phone to tell them, listen, I know I can ping my router or I know I'm getting an IP address. These things greatly reduce the amount of time that is spent troubleshooting. The last thing I want to know is, okay, great, I can reach my router, I can even reach Google, but do I have what's known as domain name resolution? That means, can I ping a domain name like yahoo.com? Because you may have the ability to ping an IP address on the internet, but if you're having what's known as a DNS problem, meaning the, the, the domain name service, it's like a, it's kind of like a phone book. It, it allows the browser to take a name and convert it into an address. Um, if that's not working, you can have a situation where you can ping an IP address like 88888, but not be able to ping something like Yahoo.com. Like let's suppose I did uh, Yahoo.ocm. I don't even know if that's a real domain. Let's see, ping Yahoo.ocm. You see, that's not going anywhere. Okay. So that means that the domain service can't find that name. Or if you know the name is good but it can't find it, then it means the DNS service is down. Again, if you're in a small office environment, if you can't resolve a name, that might mean it's time to reboot um, the router. Or it might even be time to reboot the modem that came from the cable company or from the uh, from their DSL provider. Sometimes they're the same box. Sometimes your router and your DSL modem or your router and your cable modem are the same box but sometimes they're separate. Uh, so armed with that knowledge, you should be able to try to isolate whether or not the problem is just locally on the PC or whether the problem is, is at the router or your ability to reach the router. And then moreover, to know that if everything's fine on your local area network, maybe there's a problem with your ISP or maybe the, um, the domain name service is having some trouble. And that domain name service could be a problem either with in your local area network or outside 
uh, but more times than not, it's usually on the inside. So I hope that these commands I've showed you have given you some information to, to be able to kind of isolate problems yourself. If you like what I'm showing you, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. The more comments and the more thumbs up I get, the more this video gets out to other people who could use the help. I appreciate your viewership, and we'll see you on the next one.